The Buffalo Bills head south for week two, off to Miami where they get a Dolphins team that flexed its defensive muscles in week one, the final flex, sealing the win for them. Oh my goodness, a turnover in the second fumble. Oh, what a play! Sort of a strange showing defensively. They gave up a 100-plus rating to rookie Mac Jones, didn't pick him off, only sacked him once. And there's time, and there's the throw for a first down. They also didn't fare great against Damian Harris. He hit them for 100 yards rushing on 4.3 a run. Get in, slippery as he is, corkscrew to the one. And they weren't great on third down either, but they did the job when it came to turnovers and points, and those tend to be the most important stats in the end anyway, right? And there may have been a fumble. The Dolphins have it, Kevin. And it is Miami's pole! Oh, what a play! Now they'll try their hand against Josh Allen and his mates. Allen really grinding against Pittsburgh. He did not connect on the deep ball as often as he would have liked, and he finished with a meager 5.3 yards per attempt. Allen, deep shot, separation, too far. He went heavy to his three wideouts, Stephon Diggs leading the team in targets, but most of the connections between him and Allen weren't all that explosive. Allen sets up, unleashes, deep ball. Incomplete. Stefan Diggs had two Steelers in the area. Diggs will likely see plenty of Xavier Howard, who's known more for locking down WR1s than he is for picking up game-winning fumbles. Howard dug it up! We could also see a nice heavyweight battle on the other side of things. You've got Trey Day and his buddies coming off a game where they were mighty stingy against the pass. Rush cutting, Roethlisberger. High and incomplete. White could be sicked on Devontae Parker quite a bit. Parker, Miami's most targeted receiver against New England. He's going for Parker. Oh, he's got the ball. Did he get his feet in? Yes, he did. And Tua, of course, is the QB who will be trying to get him the ball. Tunga Vailoa had a did just enough to win type of game last week. Tua first and 10 going deep. And what a catch is made by Waddle. But Dolph fans are expecting more from him. Barely throwing for 200 yards and not cracking 80 on the rating meter isn't sustainable over the long haul if you're expecting to make the dance at the end of the year. But for Miami's faithful, you are alone and first. It's all that matters right now. Bill's Mafia, what's the old saying? Plenty of pizza left in the box. Just move it off the table before you jump on it, okay? And make sure you enter your score predictions into the comments section, and we will make sure to leave you with a shiny batch of predictions of our own.